So I picked this guitar off the wall. It looked pretty nice. It seemed like a good opportunity to give you a look at how I test out guitars. If you're in a guitar store, maybe you're trying to figure out if this is the guitar for you. I'm gonna give you a few pointers on how to be prepared for that situation. And the first way to go about this is to have a bunch of different riffs and licks in your pocket to test out different aspects of the guitar tone and the way it's set up, etc., etc. So I like to have a clean riff, a dirty riff, and a heavy riff to test out the different dynamic range of, say, the pickup set or the neck. The most important thing that I can probably impart to you is that you should never feel embarrassed or scared to try out a guitar in a guitar store because they're here for you. Guitar stores wouldn't exist if people like you didn't buy stuff from them. So don't ever be ashamed or scared to try out a guitar. You don't know how many people were looking at me like, what's this guy doing all these cameras in here? I don't care. I don't care. First thing I like to do is first dial in a tone that you like. You should try and find an amp that's similar to the one that you have at home. <laughs> So this already sounds really nice. We're gonna move on to the first kind of tone that I test, which is in between clean and super heavy. And this is where I find you can really emote most of the tonal sweet spots and characteristics of a guitar. It's like a medium gain sound where it's just about to hit the breakup point, but you can still have some tonal clarity if you roll down the volume knob. So if the volume knob's at like three right now, can roll it all the way up to 10. That would be about the range that I'm starting with. And then obviously if you switch to like a split pickup position, roll the volume down to three. It's almost clean. to have licks that you can test different dynamic tones so maybe something along the lines of a fender even though this isn't a fender we can see how close we can get to a fender sound and a song that I really like to demonstrate that sort of tone is Rogues by Incubus. <laughs> tests both the rub of different intervals like these. You should really be able to listen for those different intervals in the way they sound together and that's also a great way to check the intonation. This guitar is set up really well, which is always a good thing to have on your side when you're trying out a new guitar. It also makes a good first impression. For testing out cleans, again, it comes back to sort of testing the intonation from the bottom to the higher register of the neck, and open strings is a great way to do this, but also some sort of complicated chord structures is also a great way if you're testing voicings with minor second intervals uh, where you have this kind of rub. And that still sounds nice when you have it in context. That is definitely something you want to look for because if you have a guitar that is intonated poorly, uh, it's just not going to sound as good no matter what you play. So being aware of that and not necessarily letting it deter you from moving forward to buy the guitar or not, but just being aware of what you're working with 
right off the wall is important. So when we're talking about clean guitar sounds, I like to have a composition. This is a Joe Satriani song called Baroque, and it tests a lot of those elements that I was talking about with the complicated intervals as well as just how the guitar plays. So that's sort of a broader topic of does this guitar feel good in your hands? And this is a song that I particularly like to test if that fact is true. No matter what song you choose for the clean sound, Try and involve as many strings ringing as you can, as many chords as you can. Another intonation test if you want an exact science to try yourself, I like using uh, just closed position triads starting from F, then going to G, then a first position triad F, G, second position triad F, G, and then back to our octave. And you can just roll through that. It is nice. You can do this with four part chords too. So say like a, uh, a major seven chord starting on C. First position. Second position. Third position. Back to the root. And also to expand on the dissonance factor, so having different intervals rubbing to check not only intonation but how the timbre of the guitar works for your ears. Here are a few chords you can try. This is an A711 chord. You can try it on different pickups. This is a C add 9. This first inversion major seven chord. You can hear those harmonics, and this is a clean sound. Maybe something that could sway you into liking what this guitar has to offer, especially when we put a little distortion on it. Just because a guitar can sound nice and sweet on the cleans doesn't mean it also shouldn't be able to have a bit of raunchiness and bite to it. So I recommend having at least one heavy riff in your arsenal that really sounds awesome no matter what. And you can play it over and over and everyone will just be like, I hope he keeps playing that forever. Also, shouldn't be afraid to test the different pinch harmonic elements that could be present. Sometimes some guitars, depending on the pickups, may be harder to emote certain sounds like this than others, but something tells me with these humbuckers we shouldn't have any trouble. So, if you're ever in the Jackson, Mississippi area, check out Lakeland Music. Would you buy that guitar? Would I buy this guitar? I would absolutely buy this guitar. It passes all the tests. Anyways, until next time, thanks for watching. Until next time, I've been, this is the 40th state. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time on the Guitar Store Tour. Yes, I'm getting good. <laughs>